In key moments in my career, I found a real resistance towards the term selling and the sales role. And early in my career, I think it was driven out of frustration that I, I wasn't very good <laughs> at selling. And that was driven by the fact that I hadn't had sufficient training, mentoring and development to sell effectively. Even when I had sales training the first time, it definitely helped. But without the coaching and mentoring to follow that up, then actually it's just a training course and you, you lose so much of what you learn in a, in a kind of compressed period when you go out and, and the old habits and behaviours settle back in. And so thinking about professionalising sales, whatever, whatever your role, whatever we do, we're always selling. Whether we like the term, whether we like the thought of it or not, we are always influencing other people. We're always selling ideas. We're always selling something to someone. If we're in leadership, we're selling our teams on the vision. We're selling our teams on you know, the progress and the performance that we're looking to inspire within them. And using models, using a proven methodology, a proven approach can really help us to build that confidence. Because sales is a profession, we should treat it like that. We should, whenever we're selling and influencing people, we should use a model that works. And I'd love to share with you the model that we use. We're using a model called Inspire. And if you haven't read the book, Inspire, Influence, Sell, then you won't have seen the model, you'd have missed the model. But whatever sales approach you use, just make sure it's one that is customer centric, is based on questions and curiosity and influencing and shaping people's opinion from the inside out, not pressing on them or, or trying to push or cajole them. And think about the stages of the process that you go through. I'll put the Inspire model at the end of this video so you'll be able to see it for yourself. But it really does help you to cultivate this consultative approach to conversations with customers. So you're pulling and communicating with people from the inside out. You're inspiring them to join you rather than feeling as if you're pressuring them or trying to convince them of something they don't want. That's the whole principle of inspiring. It's igniting people from the inside out. And it's why we developed the model. I love the idea of, of pulling from people, inspiring and igniting that passion in them. So share your thoughts. What, what do you do? What uh, models are you using? How does it work? And if you need a refresh or a reset, let me know. I'll, I'll share the model at the end of this video, but please feel free to connect if you'd like to know more.